guys, welcome back to my channel. I was thinking, it is so nice outside and we're finally in what I would consider spring proper here in Austin. I thought, I haven't done a real everyday makeup routine in a long time just so that you guys can see what I do every kind of work morning. You've seen kind of weekend looks where I just kind of throw on a little bit here and there, but I want to give you guys a look at what I do on an everyday basis kind of before I go to work to make myself feel really pretty for my whole day. I just really, it's totally for me, but I really, really like getting up in the morning and having like a nice full makeup routine like skincare all the way through hair and everything like that and it just makes me feel really pretty throughout the day. There's just something really nice about if I catch myself in the mirror at work or something like that. I just like the way that I look and it kind of like makes my day better. And so today I'm going to be giving you guys kind of a start to finish on my everyday kind of weekday makeup routine as it stands right now in this beautiful spring weather. So guys, without any more babbling, let's go ahead and get started. So I've already done my skincare and so I stopped with, let's see, a little bit of sunscreen and some serum and another serum and some more serum. I don't typically use a regular primer. I find that my serums are kind of a little bit tacky and so they do leave my skin prepped for makeup. So of course you guys are going to be starting off with the Luscious Cosmetics Camera Stick Foundation. This has become my new holy grail favorite and it is because it stands up so well in the heat and humidity but also the coverage is gorgeous. It really makes the rest of your makeup go on really beautifully. It's like it's got a built-in primer or something. And lately, I have been actually applying it a little more thinly so that it is still kind of like full coverage, but it does kind of have the flexibility to go a little bit sheerer. So I'll show you that. Everything I have is still like packed in Glossier bags from my conference that I went to. So like if you hear rustling, that's what it is. It's because I haven't unpacked everything yet. So I don't put on a ton ton here. This stuff is so good that I don't even have to use concealer and it doesn't crease under my eyes. And I wanna try their concealer because I think that my wedding day, I'm gonna to wanna to wear full coverage and I'm probably gonna to wanna to wear like a lighter color under my eyes to highlight for photos and things like that. So I'm gonna try, I'm actually talking to them right now about kind of like trying out some more of their products and stuff. They liked my video, so. I think they're a pretty cool company. Like it's been nice kind of communicating with them. They're very sweet. So look how easy that was. That was insanely easy. And it's just like a pleasure. I am just gonna use a touch of concealer on my spots here. This is purely for acne purposes. I'm just getting done with my woman times. So I wore this foundation on my flights to and from San Jose. And you guys know the only thing more punishing than that flip down mirror in your car in terms of like showing every flaw on your face is an airplane bathroom mirror. You're going to go in there and you're going to go, oh, I'm horrifying. How does the world tolerate me? Like, and of course that's not reality. It's just the least flattering situation ever. It's like bad lighting. You've been sitting there in recycled air. You're dehydrated. You're tired usually. Like it is just an absolute perfect storm for being like, I look terrible. And this foundation, I was shocked you guys. Like I went in there and all, everything was just kind of like chilling. You know what I mean? I was absolutely blown away. I was like, this is the ultimate test and it's passing with flying colors. Okay, going in with the Luscious Cosmetics camera powder, just so that you guys know, when I'm testing things and I say that I love them, they then become my like favorite things. As usual, I could put this stuff on blindfolded and it would just absolutely look gorgeous. I, I just, I can't get enough of this freaking foundation and the powder combo. Okay, we are going to just go in with the ASOS bronzer that I've been enjoying very much. I kind of find that like I can make just about any bronzer work. I've never found a bronzer that just like knocked my socks off. Like I really like the Too Faced Pink Leopard, the blushing bronzer, of course, but mine like broke and I need to buy a new one and I haven't yet because I just go on to try other stuff. And it's not really a bronzer per se, you know what I mean? Like it's just kind of an all over enhancer with a little shimmer in it. It's got kind of pink and it's also got kind of like a, a medium tone in it. It's not what I would call like your typical bronzer. When it comes to typical bronzers, I've never found one that I thought was just like, oh my God. So guys, tell me, what is your favorite bronzer? Especially if you've got pale skin or if you like a good matte bronzer or if you don't have pale skin, 
a line that makes one for somebody with pale skin that just has a, you know, a good shade range. Although I say a good shade range, a good shade range means that it goes and caters to darker skin. My skin tone is what everybody caters to. It's pretty unfair. I don't go nuts with bronzer. I haven't been fake tanning yet. I find that I'm actually really enjoying my super pale skin lately. Make sure that you take the extra time to make sure everything's really blended. She says is I probably have some kind of like giant spot on my face or something. Like make sure you blend and it looks really stupid, but I'm guilty of using the same brush for everything. I just need to go and buy more of this EcoTools brush because it is the best brush for diffusing any kind of pigment across your face. I'm using the ASOS blush in this really pretty kind of apricot shade called Unbothered. Did a whole review on this last week and this has become my new favorite spring blush. It is just so stinking pretty on the cheeks. I go like way towards red in the winter because it makes my skin look kind of naturally flushed like I've been out like running around in the cold or something. But I find that this makes my skin look kind of like I've been out in the sunshine in the springtime. I think that my makeup just kind of always reflects what I think like seasonally a healthy face would look like, I guess. I feel like you guys just watch me struggle with makeup all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm always trying makeup. I'm never like showing you guys what is my tried and true. And so you always see me just kind of struggling through it and trying to like make it work and stitch it together. But to show you guys my everyday makeup routine is just kind of show you guys what actually works for me. And I, I think that there's a place for that on my channel. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of highlight on pretty much my whole face, but mainly kind of on the high points using the same highlighter. The really only highlighter that I own and use is the Back up by Jaclyn Hill. The reason that I bought this, y'all, is like way back in the day before I was even like, I think it was even before I was making YouTube videos. And I saw it on Leanne's channel before I knew Leanne personally. And I was like, oh my God, that looks amazing. And so I went and bought it. And then I like tagged her on like Instagram or Twitter or something. And I was like, you made me buy this. And she was like, I hope you like it. And I was like, did she talk to me? <laughs> All right. We are going to really go in on the eyes. That has been my thing lately. I kind of pulled the audience because the only other person I care about in terms of what kind of makeup looks good on me, I care about Mike's opinion. I was like, do you like it when I wear no makeup? He's like, yeah. I was like, do you like it better when I wear some makeup? He's like, I like it when I can see your freckles. And I was like, but how do you feel about when I wear eyeshadow? He's like, I love when you wear eyeshadow. And so it's made me feel even better about kind of getting creative with eyeshadow because my fiance likes it. So, you know, why not? If he thinks it looks pretty, then I'll do it, you know? So my two main brushes are these two guys. This is the Sephora fluffy brush and this is a slightly, are they the same size? I feel like they look like they're the same size, but this guy has fewer bristles and they're a little bit rougher. And then this guy has more bristles and they're a little bit softer. And so I start with this guy and then I finish with this guy inexplicably because they look like they're the same size. <laughs> so I use this guy to kind of like diffuse all of the stuff everywhere. And then I use this guy to go in and kind of like, I don't know, do more detail work. I don't know. I feel like when I bought this natural love palette from Too Faced about what, a year ago, I just wasn't as comfortable with makeup at the time. And so when I did kind of a tutorial on it that I'm not even sure it's still on my channel, I might've taken it down. I just don't think that I did the palette justice. And these are some absolutely gorgeous colors and some really pretty formulas, especially for spring. And I feel like it just deserves a fair shake. So we're gonna go in with this guy today. I really appreciate too the pan sizes on these. They're huge. Okay, the first thing that I usually do is go in with, I am, I am a transition shade girl. So I'm going in with honey butter here. And I'll tap my brush off just for posterity's sake. But as I kind of get more product on my eyes, I will stop doing that. I just kind of dip and go because once you've got kind of a powder layer down, it doesn't really matter. You can blend just about anything. It's, it's mainly when you're just kind of powdering in the first layer on top of the rest of your makeup or a primer or something, that's when you can get into trouble. If you put too much product on all at once, you'll just kind of like get yourself into a corner and kind of be trying to correct it the rest of the time instead of putting product on as you go and kind of getting to control it better. But this color honey butter is just really easy to work with. There aren't a ton, ton of mattes in this palette, but the ones that are matte are like the right shades. We're gonna go very kind of like pinky, burgundy-y today, less orange on the eyes. And 
that has just kind of been my preference lately. I don't know why. Um, sometimes I will just go like full apricot on everything, but I feel like you guys kind of saw that with my ASOS one the other day. So we're gonna go a little pinkier this time. So I'm gonna use this very light pink shade called Lace Teddy. Just kind of throw that on the eyes as sort of a setting situation. And I know that I did that whole video on how to make your eyes look bigger and there will be a little bit of those techniques in here, but I also have just been kind of going ham lately, just really taking the Tarzan approach and just going all the way around my whole eye with stuff. And I just find that it looks really fun. Like it's one of those things where once you get eyeliner on and mascara, everything looks good anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Makeup's not that hard. You know what I mean? There's just not that many hard, fast rules. The main thing that I have found that I have kind of gotten with more experience is just the confidence to lay more product on. Especially doing that like Nikki Tutorials tutorial, my god, the way that that woman lays on product, she's so confident with it and there's just a lot to be said for that, you know, to actually like get the color payoff from a lot of these things, it has to do with putting on more product. Alright, so I'm going to start with one of my favorite shades here. Because they've got these really, this is why I bought the palette, was because of all these really pretty neutrals. But we're going to go in with this hot and bothered shade. And this is what I'm just going to like, go in on my crease with. Hot and bothered. It's got a little shimmer to it, but not a lot. I feel like if you wanted to, you could really get this shade to shimmer if you like stuck your finger in it, you know, and kind of put it on the lid. But that's just not where I'm going with it today, so I'm using more of the nice kind of like pinky orange pigment that's coming from it. Kind of, I don't know, it's a very interesting color and it works great for adding this like nice depth. And then I'm going to kind of pull that in with a little bit, well a little bit, a lot of it of this honeymoon color. And that's going to kind of pull the pink out of this a little bit. And this is uh, more of a satin shade. You see, I actually have gotten really into going underneath the eyes, like quite a bit. It's because my face is kind of long. Not that that's a bad thing. I feel like I've got room to kind of play with pulling my eyes down on my face a little bit more. You know what I mean? Kind of condensing everything this way. So I have room to just kind of like throw a little bit there. Some people have really wide set eyes and it can make your face look short. In which case, like putting a bunch of product underneath your eyes can be unflattering. But for me, putting a bunch of stuff kind of towards the inner corners of my eyes is pretty unflattering. So everybody's different, you know? You gotta kind of like look and play with the shape of your face and where everything is on your face. And then just put it to the proportions that you like. But I just, I love this kind of like diffused color situation. All right, kind of wiping my brush off on this towel down here. I have so many eyeshadow brushes and I just stick with the same two. On my actual eyeball, I'm gonna go in with satin sheets right here, and then I'm gonna use probably like Honey Pot as a like highlight on there. But um, like this color Fairy Tale looks like it would be really good, but it's incredibly chunky glitter, and it just doesn't it doesn't work. It looks really really gross. So some of these shades are not my favorite, but this satin sheets shade is really pretty. All over the lid here. Hello. Ooh, yeah. Um, hmm, might even go a little pinker. They have one called uh, Bunny Nose that is like hot freaking pink. I love this satin sheets shade though, because like as you put it on, even though you're doing it with a brush, you still get a good bit of that like, not a foil effect, but a shimmer effect. Like you don't lose the shimmer just because you're applying with a brush. It is a pretty good formula. I don't feel like this palette lives up to like the chocolate bar palette formula. I do feel like, you know, a lot of that tea that people talk about with the Too Faced that like they've kind of diluted their formula since they got bought. I think that there's some truth to it. I still like their products. I still think that they're really pretty. All right, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that Honeymoon shade and I'm mixing it with a very, very pink shade called Bunny Nose. I'm gonna kind of like go on the outer half of the lid with that. I wanna add, you remember when we talked in my other uh, tutorial, my eye tutorial about local color? I wanna add a little bit more pink to the kind of local color. I've been really into pink lately, like shockingly into pink. I just think that it's just such a kind of like nice cheerful color and I need a little more cheer in my life, you know? So I'm gonna take that Honey Pot Gold that I showed you guys a minute ago. I'm just gonna go right in the center of the lid here. Not even the center, I kind of go towards like the inner center to kind of what I call like give your eye like a false highlight as if my eyes are a little bit farther apart. Ooh, that's all pretty. That's so pretty. 
I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes just a little bit more with a little bit more of, let's see, Hot and Bothered, that first shade that we used. And then we can even go a little bit, there's this shade called Makeup and Chill right here that is absolutely gorgeous. It's this really, really beautiful kind of like cool toned burgundy. I'm just gonna darken my kind of false outer corner here. So I'm not actually even on the lid right now. I'm giving myself kind of a false outer corner. My dog is going crazy. A false outer corner here that makes my eyes look a little bit like they're bigger. Yes, I do film in my own home, so sometimes the dog barks. Do I wear this much eye makeup to work? Sometimes. <laughs> and it's also because I wear glasses. I'm putting a little bit of Lace Teddy. It's kind of a matte pink. Uh, on the outside to sort of blend it in. I wear glasses and I feel like that kind of obscures anything that I put on my eyes and then I also will put on, once I get like liner and mascara on, everything looks so much more normal. <laughs> okay, let's do my brows real quick and then I can highlight the brow bone. I am still like permanently hooked on this Wander Beauty eyebrow pencil, but like I said in Monday's video, like I haven't found a brow product that I really hate yet because I think that I just kind of got lucky by having hair that grows over my eyes already and so it's kind of hard to make them look bad. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Leanne called one of her brows her Walmart brow the other day and I about died. It was in like her, you know, doing makeup like another YouTuber, like following another YouTuber's tutorial video. It cracked me up. She's like, all right, over to the Walmart brow. She does her best. And I was like, oh my God, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard because we all have a Walmart brow. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You know what I mean? That brow pencil just makes my life so easy. Throw a little bit of my Glossier boy brow on top of there. This is, if I don't say it enough, my absolute ride or die brow product. I will wear this even if I don't bother to pencil my brows in. Even if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I will wear boy brow. Plus y'all know, I love me a pout brow. Okay, now that I look thoroughly insane because there's really nothing weirder than having your brows on and all of your eyeshadow and no eyeliner or mascara, I'm going to cut away, do my eyeliner. It's really boring to watch and it's even more boring to edit. So I'm going to cut away, come back with my mascara and my eyeliner on and then we will talk about lips. So I went ahead and threw a few products in my hair and um, if you guys want me to do a full video of how I do my hair on a regular basis, let me know because the products that I use can transform three hairs into this. So it is, it's, you know, it's taken some discovery over the years. And I did my eyeliner, I did my mascara. So the eyeliner that I use, fell on the floor. The eyeliner that I use is the La Stylo Waterproof in Bronze Riche from Lancome. And I always use the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics. I have a link down below for $10 off of this and anything on their site, so check that out. And I also went ahead and used a little bit of my MAC, where is it? My Saving Grace, my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder, just to kind of blur out any remaining blemishes that were kind of peeking through. I also like to use it a little bit on my melasma. And then I sprayed it with a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then off camera, I will, when I get done, also use Mother Dirt. Mother Dirt is my kind of like Peacekeeper Bacteria Spray that I put on my skin before I go to bed every night after all of my skincare and also after I do my makeup every day. And it keeps me from breaking out too much. So I really, really like that, but it's down in the fridge because <laughs> that's where it lives. And so I'm not putting that on right now. So let's talk about lips. You guys may or may not know my favorite, ultra favorite combo, but I feel like it just absolutely sets off any look. So it is the combination of a very inexpensive product and a relatively expensive product. And that is the L'Oreal Color Riche in uh, lip liner in Toffee to Be, and then the Lancome L'Absolu Rouge, their, you know, lipstick, uh, in Nuit et Joux. And this is a sheer shade that blends so beautifully. It's a really nice kind of like nude shade. It's like the perfect nude shade, but it really looks its best with a semi dark lip liner. So we're going to combine these two and you guys will see the amazing results of how big my lips look afterwards. I don't even really overline anywhere except about like right here. And it's not even overlining. It's just that I lose pigment kind of right there. And so I will just kind of like, you know, accentuate that. This is the softest formula, it's so easy. You 
you know, lip liner always looks crazy when it's by itself. And then, I love, love this packaging. Highly recommend this shade to anybody who's looking for a really good nude shade. It's so perfect. And then I just kind of go around the edges and use it to blend the lip liner. And then I fill in. Nothing crazy. And then I will kind of just take my finger and make sure that everything's really perfectly blended. And I will actually take a little extra time to like blend it a lot on the cupid's bow because I find that if I really heavily line that cupid's bow and then I don't blend it out, it honestly makes my lips look smaller. <laughs> so you have to really, really blend the line and that's how you get kind of the look of bigger lips. So like, if you watch my video where I reviewed that weird like thing that vibrates on your skin that's good for, you know, lymphatic drainage and stuff like that, the uh, rose glow thing, like my lips look huge in that video and it's because of this combination. So it looks a little lopsided. Takes a little bit of effort to get it just right, but both of these formulas are so creamy that if you get it out of the lines, it's really easy to wipe off. And if you need more, it's really easy to add more. So it's just the fact that I'm working with like such a good neutral shade that goes so well with my skin tone that it's really forgiving. If I was working with like red, <laughs> it would be getting all over my face, but it's just the most nourishing actual like balm texture to the lipstick and it's a little outside the lines here and then I will in order to make it look plumper and not crazy you can just kind of take your finger and clean up the edges and it pinches everything in right at the edges so it doesn't look like oh she overlined her lips like she looks crazy it just kind of looks like you naturally have bigger lips and it's very flattering for someone who may or may not be losing lip volume as she gets older guys this is what I look like every day when I go to work. Well, this and then just huge glasses. But if you're wondering if like this is actually how much makeup I wear on a regular basis, yeah, it is because I think that this is really fun. Like this is a fun amount of makeup. I love catching myself in the mirror or if I'm gonna take a selfie or anything like that, I love kind of having my eyes done and I love having my lips look really big. And I just like really enjoy kind of like using some tricks in my toolbox to enhance what I've got going on. There is, I mean, I could go on and on about it, but there is just kind of like this dichotomy, right, of not being taken seriously in the workplace if you are a female who likes to look nice. And it's hard sometimes to kind of like strike that balance. I just throw it out the window. Screw them. I'm not wearing anything that's low cut or high cut or anything skimpy, but I am going to make my face look nice. I'm going to make my outfit look nice. I'm going to stay within, you know, the realm of respecting my peers in terms of like, you know, putting myself together. I'm not going to go in looking like I'm going to a club or something, but I am, I refuse to adhere to this idea that like I need to be like minimal in order to be taken seriously. I'm a little bit extra and that's fine. I like looking the way that I look and I don't think that it's crazy. I'm not putting on, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm not putting on like fake eyelashes every day just because that's too much effort for me. I'm not very good at it. But I mean, I think everybody should do whatever makes them happy on a daily basis to make themselves feel really pretty. And this is how I feel really pretty. And it might look like a lot to some people. It might not look like very much to a lot of other people. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out and watching today. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.